Hey guys, this is Cutie Pie 88. I wanted to come to you guys and show you a quick kind of a little sloppy get ready with me. I never did it before and please excuse my no eyebrows and the way I look. But I'm going to the Maxwell concert here in um, my city. He's coming to um, do his tour, like 50 Intimate Nights tour. And I couldn't think of a style to do, so I thought I would do a ninja bun. So this is what I'm doing, just kind of a tutorial. So I got my um, hairspray here. My hair is already up in tall bun. That is my real hair. It's just made like kind of tall. I wrapped it around and put a bobby pin um, in there and made it kind of tall and I already had my baby hair done. So I'm just taking a pack of regular braiding hair. It's like a dollar at the hair store. And as you saw, I put the rubber band around my bun. And now I, <clears throat> I'm splitting both sides and I'm wrapping. So I'm wrapping, 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 twisting, twisting. And then I'm going to um, continue to twist the hair. This is my first time doing this style. Um, so it was a little, not challenging, but well, it is kind of challenging, especially when you get to the top. You don't really know what to do with the ends of the hair. And I wish the ends of the hair were kind of feathered, but it looks like I'm going like really fast and it's really easy, but it wasn't, it's not as easy. Like right here, I didn't know how to actually style, like how to stack it. But as you can see, I'm using a bobby pin to kind of, and I put the bobby pin straight down, not through the bun, but straight down. So I'm just continuing to pin, 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 bobby pin. It's sloppy right now. That was just one pack of hair, one pack of hair. I knew that wasn't enough, so I bought two. If you use expression, um, that one long, long, long pack may be enough, but it could be difficult to work with. So I just did two regular length uh, Tinkalon braiding hair. So again, same process. This time I decided to twist like one side at a time because it was really difficult to do two at the same time. So I wrap one, put it in my mouth, wrap the other one. And this time I decided to start from the top. So as you can see, I didn't start wrapping from the bottom. I wrapped to the top. This way the end, ends of the hair would be at the bottom of the bun and not the top. So this is just me kind of trial and error, seeing how tall I want it. How was I going to cover my bun because my hair is brown and the hair is black. I accidentally got a 1B and I should have got a 2. But yeah, just trial and error. So wrap, 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 twist, twist, twist. You have to make sure you keep it twist in order to get that kind of beehive looking look. And like I said, this is my first time doing it for the Maxwell concert. Um, I didn't really want my hair down because I didn't know if the theater was going to be hot or not. So I didn't want a sew in. I had just permed my hair. So I said, okay, what about a ninja bun? I had never did it before. So this is just me playing with it. You're going to need a lot of bobby pins, um, <clears throat> edge control, you know, edge tamer two packs of hair and like a toothbrush or something to style your baby hair so very simple style very very cheap style but it's very elegant and cute I made sure that the bun was pretty much at the point of my head they say it's best at the point so at this point I'm just yes I'm using kitchen shears I really I know that's a no-no and it's nasty but I wiped it down with some alcohol. I could not find my hair scissors at all. So I needed to hurry up and do this. Um, so yeah, I'm just snipping out, snipping off the stray hairs. Make sure you don't snip your real hair. Um, yeah, it's pretty cute. Um, I think I went in and kind of fixed that front part because it's kind of funny looking. But I sprayed it with um, hair, hairspray here and just kind of fixing it up. I use beeswax and edge tamer. A little bit of oil sheen. It's like some kind of coconut oil sheen I use. Now I'm gonna try to do like a quick get ready with me makeup. You guys, I'm not professional at all. And yes, I use too much of the orange concealer. The foundation, the ending product is gonna be a little too orange and I couldn't stand it. I tried to fix it with some powder but um it didn't really work it was too orange but oh well the pictures came out really cute and i'm gonna add some pictures at the end so yeah i just used the orange correcting concealer and then um just a regular hair store concealer and a lighter color than my skin 
and then just blending it in because I do have some dark marks but I don't have that many dark marks that's why I shouldn't have put that much this is some black radiance um, found cream foundation and I had to add some concealer within it because the foundation the black radiance foundation color was too dark for me so I had to add some light concealer and I'm just blending it in you know I don't have my eyebrows on um, I put my eyelashes on already though and then I'm just putting some concealer down my nose you know the typical thing that you see on YouTube you see the girls do I'm not a professional like I said this is really sloppy and quick um, it was about two o'clock and I needed to get out the door by four so just blending it with a beauty blender and then I just took some baking powder, uh, banana powder, and um, just baked the highlighted areas. <laughs> Excuse the bandana, y'all. I know I look rough, but the end result was kind of cute. So I'm just contouring my cheeks a little bit. And with some dark uh, face powder. And then I'll go in and put some banana powder just a little bit underneath to kind of give that some definition help it stand out a little bit now I'll just quickly do a quick eyebrow nothing dramatic um, just using my elf eyeshadow kit very cheap but very effective and it came with a tiny brush that just gives it more precision so you don't have to clean it up as much with concealer. I don't really like that much concealer on my eyebrows, but I think I used it this time to make it really kind of a little bit more dramatic than normal since I was going to a concert. So here I'm just dusting off the banana powder and it gives you that really matte look. This was really quick, you guys, and it's not my best work. Like, I've done makeup way better than this, but it was so quick. And my daughter was asleep, so I had to hurry up while she was asleep, too. <laughs> so here's just a little bit of highlighter. Just using a little cheap brush, nothing serious. I'm not big on expensive makeup products. I don't wear makeup like that. I love makeup, I actually wear it almost every day, but it's just foundation, lashes, and maybe like a matte lip and eyebrows. That's about it. So it's not like too, too serious, so I don't pay a lot of money for it. I don't have a lot of I'm not an eyeshadow at all, actually. I'd rather have lashes and brows and that's it, and I'm good to go. So just going on my e.l.f. finishing spray, I didn't do my lips yet, but I just did a simple like black cut crease, some browns in there, some silver under my brow, nothing serious or fine, so I just sprayed my face and kind of dab it down to the spot. So just putting on a little accessories, I really threw this outfit together um, real quick. But yeah, this is the ending result. It was really, really cute for the concert. I had so, so much fun seeing Maxwell. I love him. He's a legend. I couldn't believe I was in the same room as him. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. My first Ninja Bun tutorial. I hope it was helpful and excited for this to be my first Get Ready With Me. Thanks you guys for watching and keep tuned in for more videos. See you guys later.